Hey everyone, welcome back to Cupcake Comic Reviews. I'm Connor and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Batman Hush by Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee. So, although this is a review for the book, I've actually read the book more than once, probably about four times now, every time to try and decide if I think differently on the book. So, I really love Jeff Loeb. Um, his My favourite Batman stories of all time are his trilogy of Bat books and uh, Haunted Night, Long Halloween, and Dark Victory. I think they're absolutely incredible, and they're everything that Batman is and should be. I don't think there is any better Batman story. Now, the interesting thing with Batman Hush is that I've found many people adore the book. And for me, it's one of my least favorite Batman books. So I always reread it to see if I can find new things about it, whether I like it or not. So, with this read, um, I still don't love it. Um, I think it's a good blockbuster book. And the art by Jim Lee is incredible. The, the, the style and the, the, the plethora of characters that are in the book gives Jim Lee so much to draw. And his art is just sensational. Um, but... In regards to the story, I just don't think there's enough there. Obviously, the biggest mystery of the book is of who Hush is. And um, it's just not there for me. The The book is basically about um, someone is targeting Batman. You don't know who. And all of his rogues gallery come out of the woodwork. And he has to figure out who is messing with his life. It's actually a really simple story. But again, I think the best aspect of the book is all the cameos, all the characters. And there is quite a few twists that are relatively good. But I think overall, by the end of it, the journey isn't really earned because it's just not a satisfactory reveal. It's just, it's pretty telegraphed, to be honest. Interestingly enough, DC did an animated movie of Batman Hush recently, which had a different ending. And although I didn't love the movie... I think that the the twist was at least, it had me surprised because it's not the same as the book. That's not to say it's better than the book, it just had me surprised. Uh, the, the thing I think stood out most for me in the book is the relationship with Catwoman. There's a lot of focus on uh, Batman's dynamic with Catwoman and how that plays about, um, how what they are to each other and the cat and mouse game of the two. It's very classic Catwoman and Batman, but I think where they're, they've been at recent times with like Tom King, Tom King's run, I think that this is a, a pretty good uh, signpost for where they were going. Uh, if it goes there again, who knows, but I think this is a good tease for what's happened with them in recent years. Um, all in all, I, I think it's not... I would recommend other Batman books before this one, but... I think that if someone was to come up to me and say, recommend me a Batman book, um, if they were looking for some action and just for some Bat Batman-ness, I would say read it. And especially for Jim Lee's art. If someone was a fan of Jim Lee, then it's essential reading because the art is sublime. And that's the best thing about it. Uh, but yeah, I would point out a dozen more books before this one. Uh, so... All in all, this time round reading it, I don't love it anymore. I love the art just as much. I will read it again in another few years to see if I change my mind. At this point, I don't think I will. But yeah, if you're looking for an action book that has Batman in it, I think it's good. If you're looking for something more, I would just recommend Long Halloween or even Haunt at Night, which is a short book. And especially Dark Victory. I really love Dark Victory and I think it's overshadowed by Long Halloween you know, in popularity. But... I really do love Dark Victory almost as much as Long Halloween. But yeah, this was a quick review. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, tell me what you think and why you love it. See if you can convince me it's the best thing since sliced bread. And uh, yeah, thanks.